Hello all, welcome back. So in our previous videos, we created a Cloud SQL instance. We inserted some data. We tried to connect to Cloud SQL instance using MySQL Workbench. We connected using the Cloud Shell. Then we connected using the Cloud SQL Studio. We worked on the backups and restore. We did some hands-on. We performed disaster recovery using backup and restore. Then we also check how we can import and export the data using SQL dump file. And now in this video, we are going to work on the uh, replicas. What is the replicas? Why we need a replicas? Why we need a read replica? And what is the benefits of using read replica that we are going to see in these videos? Okay, so just directly before creating the read replica, just understand why we need a read replica and what is a read replica in terms of Cloud SQL. So I'll just try to explain here. Let's say suppose this is my Cloud SQL instance without any uh, read replica. Okay and when i talk about a cloud sql instance and there is no read replica so let's assume there are some users and there is this is like application there are some users and they are continuously doing a read and write operation on my database again there are some users who are doing some analytics who are executing some complex queries who are just trying to get some insight from the data and they are running their read queries on their uh, databases now these are the users who are only doing the read operation they are not putting any data but the write operations and read operations are happening through some users or in some application now during this process what will happen as there are a lot of connection on the database there might be chance of the bottleneck there might be a performance issues because a lot of users are doing the read and write operation at the same time so that is one disadvantages that it might lead to a performance issue let's say suppose if my this instance goes down okay so because of any reason there is any zone outage there is some issue with the database there is some issue with the server there is issue with the hardware and due to any of the reason my server goes down then all these write operation will halt and again my read operation also will stop so these are the important business users who are reading the data who are pulling some insight from the data and taking some strategic decisions so now for them also my database read operation also stop so how we can overcome these challenges so for this we need a read replica now how read replicas work so i'll just show you one example now with the read replica now let's say now we are using this architecture where we are having the primary cloud sql instance okay and these are the users who are performing the read and write operation as we discussed earlier okay these are performing read and write operation on the database and there is a secondary instance which is a read replica this instance we can only perform the read operation read operation and whatever the data is in this database it is a near real time it is replicating to the secondary instance which is our read replica and other users they are performing the read operation on this database now what will happen this database will not get overloaded okay because of the reason that this database is having only uh, like few number of connection which is performing a read write operation and this database which is read replica is having connection only for the users who are reading from the data now here are two benefits here one is performance issue your performance will be good there will be a not a uh, huge number of connection because we are making a user aware that they can use the read replica they can use this database instance because they just need to uh, read the data they need to get some insight from the data they need to take some decision of the data so definitely they will not need a uh, write access on the database so we can provide them this instance second thing the data is near real time it is replicating to the second instance so this is always have the latest data third thing let's say suppose for any reason the server goes down okay so now what is happened your read and write operations are not performed by this users they can connect to this database and perform the read operation but what about the write operation so in read replica we have option that we can promote read replica to the primary instance now this will perform both read and write operation okay and this will becomes your primary instance so we have option to promote your read replica as a primary instance as well so now this is the conceptual overview that how we can create a read replica uh, how why we need a read replica now we'll jump into the cloud console and we'll see all the things we discussed in a real time with the live demo 
how we can create read replica how user can access the read replica and if the data is replicating in a real time we will make changes in this database and we will check immediately if this data is available here so we'll understand how much lag is there for the data replication we'll also stop this database and then promote this as a primary and we'll see if there is an issue okay so all these things we are going to do on our console so let me go to the cloud console now and here now I will create a replica so one more thing let's check here so if we have our instance so let's see our instance is in C so we'll create a read replica in B so one more advantage if our users are in another zone another region they will get a benefit from it and it will provide a redundancy in the zone because if zone C goes down zone B will be available so I'll just create a read replica in another zone create a read replica Okay, now you can see for read replica it is not allowing us to select because this is the replica so it will take the most of the configuration from your primary instance so it is going with the enterprise and most of the configuration your version we cannot change okay so instance ID we can change but we will keep the same default naming convention and we want it in the zone B so I will specify the zone so I will specify zone B okay and then I will create a replica so once our replica is created it will have a, another IP and we'll try to see on that IP we'll connect using that IP and then we'll see if we can connect and read data from the replica as well so currently we are having our primary servers we are having FDB database we are having users tables and we are connected to this database and executing the query and reading the data so same thing we'll try to using the replica server once it is created so currently you can see it is in update state and how replica will look like I will show you on the main page so here you can see this is your primary and this is your replica the type is also you will see the replica once it is created it will show the public IP here so let's wait for some time I'll just pause this video for maybe a few minutes and then we'll come back and see how we can work with the replica okay now replica is ready let's see how much time it took we can check in operations so let's go to operation and check the time it took to create replica because it's not only creating the replica it also replicate the data which is there in the database so it takes around four to five minutes to create replica so as I said there will be a another IP for the replica so we'll try to connect to the replica using that IP address okay so I'll just go to replica or I'll show you the higher view here so here you will see both the IP so first IP we already connected using the 4751 now we'll use this IP one more thing we will check if the same users we can use there as well because as data is replicated you will see the users here as well okay so you can see one more thing that you cannot create users here because users are created on your main instance and that these users are replicated here so one more difference you will see that you will not see the add users because this is read only replica I will just show you in the primary instance there we have option to add the users okay so if I go to a primary instance there you will see option to add users and we can create new users we can set the password so I will go to the primary instance then go to users and here we have a add user account here we do not have add users account this will be replicated from your primary instance okay so now what I will do I will just try to connect to a replica instance this is my replica instance using the uh, IP and the same username password I will just copy this now this also replicated your network authorized network 
so I will just create new MySQL workbench connection with the replica okay so this is my primary I will just add more as a MySQL replica I will just give the name as MySQL replica okay I will put the IP here okay just save let's try to connect okay so no networking issue so I can go and get my password so we have password for app user here oh I think we are using the root users okay so I'll take the root user password okay and now I will be connecting to the replica instance we'll see if we can see all the data in replica instance as well and then also we'll try to see the replication time how much time it will take to replicate the data from primary to the replica instance so let's wait for a few seconds we should be connected to the MySQL workbench yeah so we are here so let's go to the schema we can see AppDB I'll just use AppDB and then try to execute a queries on the users table okay and now I will do select star from users okay so all, all 10 records here so what I will do now I will just try to insert data directly into the replica because this is a read replica it should not allow to insert but let's see what error it gives okay we should just verify we have to play with the the services then only we will learn more things I'll just go to chat GPT and I will ask for a simple insert okay I, I already have here so I'll just ask one more record need to, to insert I will just give the query yeah for one record and I will just try to execute directly on the read replica so here is my read replica and here is my primary so I will try directly on the read replica okay and let's see what error it gives so you can see my SQL server running is read only mode so to see the error well visible format I will run it here in the replica studio search and password so you will see the exact error I'll copy the query again okay so I will just execute the insert query here and you will see the error so you can see some of your SQL statement failed to execute errors the mysql server is running in the super read only post option it cannot execute this statement because this is a read replica we cannot write data into that but if we execute the same statement so let's say suppose i will give the name uh, i will give maybe the first name as i will give a vishal okay just to see the data username i will just give vishal123 and now i will insert this data into a main table so it will be inserted here and let's see the timing how fast it will be replicated to a replica server so first I will show the replica server execute this statement so there are 10 records only okay so there are 10 records only and now I will execute this statement here in primary so it one row affected and immediately check in replica if new users is inserted okay you can see 11 rows it means this record immediately replicate to the replica server so you see it's almost a real-time replication from primary to secondary as soon as we executed query immediately it return here as well so this is how the read replicas work and also we discussed on one more thing how we can promote a read replica to the primary one 
so I will go back to a cloud SQL instance okay so what I will do now I will just uh, for a reason I will just stop my primary okay and then we'll see if my read replica can still provide the read operation so I'll just stop the primary okay so it should not impact our application read operation as we will connect to the secondary one or a read replica so it is in stopped state so if I execute queries on the uh, primary so it will it will impact so let's try to execute select star from users so it will throw an error because database is not working so unable to connect to database but read replica still shows result because it does not connect it directly to the primary so read operation still work here it means if even though our primary goes down we can still perform the read operation on the replica servers and we also promote it to do read and write operation so we'll check that as well how we can promote our read replica to perform read and write operations okay so i'll go to read all instance <laughs> and now you can see my primary stop read replica is here and here you have option a promote so i will promote it and once i promote it it will be available for read and write operations <laughs> So it will take some time to promote a read replica so we'll just wait for some time and then we'll see what happens at back end now you can see it's prime it's promoted to the uh, actual instance not as a read replica here you can see earlier the type was showing as a read replica but now it is not showing the read replica type and it will act as a primary full read write mode cloud sql instance how we can test that so we'll go and we'll try to execute or insert insert statement into a read replica okay so i'll just uh, put the password again okay so what i will do i will just try to execute a query so here i will just give the name as xyz so earlier in a replica our insert query was failed but I will try to execute again duplicate entry ok it is failing for the email id so I will just change the email id let's try again yeah so it inserted the record xyz so let me verify here yeah 12 rows and you can see it executed the read write operation so it means we promoted our read replica to the actual instance primary instance and it will be treated as a separate instance going on okay so this is how we can use the read replica also in terms of anything goes wrong with our primary server we can promote it to the primary servers we can promote read replica to the primary servers hope this is clear now and we can do a hands-on again on how we can create the read replica how we can use it for the read operation and how we can promote it in case of a disaster okay so that's it for this video and we'll see you few more features in our further video so see you in a next video